Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. I am Joseph F. Alsis, Addiction Master on social media. Today I'm going to be talking about a movie called Godzilla vs. Kong. Alright everybody, this movie, highly anticipated by me, I do have a real craze for Godzilla. I love King Kong also. But I got to say, I'm a more of a Godzilla fan. If you look at the, what, 35, 36 Godzilla movies and the uh, 13 or so, 12 film for King Kong, I have more fun with Godzilla. Most of the King Kongs have to do with the sad ending on a tower, uh, some kind of high building. The themes are always really good with the humans, and there's a connection you can make. Godzilla, they've done one or two like that throughout the series, there's 30 fucking six of them. But you'll never have a connection with humans, and it just works because it's a fucking big lizard, so it kind of fits. I look at it this way also, I don't want to see humans in these movies a lot for some reason the godzilla movies in general did a pretty good job of showing humans if there's the army or the um family or, or some kind of subplot going along but you always saw the fights in big chunks if not the whole fight in general i think that's a big mistake they made in 2014 i think it was Godzilla, um, I didn't like it, so let's start there. Godzilla, I love the way he looked. I love the way it was filmed. There's some great moments in it, but the movie sucks. You went with this plot, with this subplot of a subplot, and every time this kick-ass guy gets into something, there's monsters everywhere, and then they have fights that they literally close the doors on you, literally close the doors on you i didn't like it i got a little uh you know off put by it just love the way godzilla looks the size the scope it's just great then you go to kong skull island i enjoyed the movie i don't think it's a great movie but i kind of enjoyed it had fun with it there was a shin godzilla that sucks by the way so whoever keeps fucking touting that out of their fucking minds but enjoyed kong skull island godzilla king of the monsters was better than godzilla a lot more fights a lot more scope but they still put these fucking families in and it was stupid the dumbness of the plot everything going on it's just bullshit and you keep fucking cutting away from the fights you can't tell what's going on just better more more of a fun ride i can watch Godzilla King of the Monsters, again and again. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to, um, you know, drag my feet that I have to watch it. The original Godzilla from 2014, I would. I don't want to watch that again. I have no fun with it. So Kong Skull Island, enjoyable. I don't know if it's so good, but it was, you know, it's up there that uh, it's an enjoyable film for me. Godzilla King of the Monsters, not good. But I'll get through it. I enjoy it. Get to see all the monsters. And then we have this uh, tease for Godzilla vs. King Kong. And it gets pushed back. We have the pandemic. Fine. I'm going to say Godzilla vs. Kong did smart things. It's still not a very good movie. But it's the best out of all of them, I think. There's a... I don't know how to... They did the right thing where the subplot, one of the subplots has to do with Kong. And again, it makes sense because you could relate to someone trying to communicate or to um, establish uh, uh, some kind of dialogue with Kong. It just kind of makes sense. And even if it's just silly, you know, it's a fucking Titan, he's ginormous, but you get that feeling. You've seen the. The monkey uh, gorilla videos and how they can learn sign language and how they could, you know, 
be around us and you know, we notice how much we all like them. You're not going to get that with Godzilla. And it's fine. They didn't do that. So that's great. Now, in my opinion, it's a King Kong movie. You almost have to go that way because of that, what I just mentioned. I mean, even if you're going to have a regular Godzilla movie and you're on his side, which you always are, it's playing it a little weird when there's no community. You don't have a connection to Godzilla. I think the cartoon did, was it Up from the Depths, 30 stories, like old cartoon, maybe the 80s. And they had some sort of communication with Godzilla. It was a funny cartoon. What are they going to do? But we're talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. This is lots of fighting. They show a lot of it. I think there's so much dumb shit in it, though, that it just boggles my mind. I don't need special power sources. I like the Hollow Earth type of thing. You know, that the, the theory thing. But the way they went about it, everything that fits around the movie is still not good. I don't know why they keep putting... We we'll keep putting the second one, Millie Bobby Brown. She has to have a subplot. The guy from the King of the Monsters. I get you need the overall arcing monarchs or uh, government agencies. That's fine. But I didn't, you know, I don't mind it being a hollow earth plot, but you have to go about it so weird. It doesn't feel like it fits. There's a uh, element to it that just doesn't work for me. And then the whole Millie Bobby Brown investigating, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it just doesn't work for me. Now, saying this, it's a fun movie. You're going to get through it. Just like I'll describe Kong Skull Island and Godzilla King of the Monsters. One thing occurred to me is it feels like they shrunk them down. Meaning, if you look at Kong Skull Island, maybe King Kong's bigger. But it feels like they shrunk Godzilla. He doesn't feel as massive. And maybe that's how come when you see the fights, they're awesome. But there's something off about it for me. Now, I could be wrong. This was maybe something put in my head before the movie even came out. With people showing um, the trailer. And looking at where they were standing on uh, carriers and the ocean and stuff. So I did see that discussion around. But that's just a little nitpick. It's not really going to ruin the movie. I just think the whole structure is stupid. The twist I did like. I don't give away spoilers or too much plot uh, in these type of surface level that I like the movie or not. Podcast, but there's um, a twist that it, it, I didn't. Okay, it ties into the hollow art, which I didn't like. But the twist itself, I would have enjoyed so, Godzilla and King Kong basically have three rounds of fighting. Pretty good. You're making Kong a little too savvy. Because we know what happens if they really fought. You'd have to have some really high-end agility from Kong to really put the hurt on Godzilla quick. But you're going to have a movie that doesn't, uh, you know, it feels kind of contrived. And then he's got to get a weapon. It's just kind of weird. But fun destruction popcorn movie. Fine. Uh, like I said, there's a little bit of a twist with a third entity comes into the fray. And it's kind of uh, we have to work together movie, you know, because you know, I would have been okay with just King Kong vs. Godzilla and it ending right there. Um,. There's a mutual respect type thing, type of ending where uh, give Kong round two, whatever you want to debate it. And then it's clearly by round three, um, Godzilla's, t no, you know, he's putting his foot down and he's the king of the fucking monsters. I would have been okay with that type of ending and it would have been fine with me if the subplot wasn't as, uh, just as stupid. But there's a twist, there's a mutual villain they have to uh take care of and i enjoyed that it's good to see i think there were rumors 
not sure. I try to stay away from these things, but I did see the trailer, and like I said, that discussion, but I, I was pleasantly surprised. But everything coming together just didn't mark this elements like a leftover creature's head and it's a skull and there's a guy sitting in it and fucking tubes and this whole get to the hollow earth and a special ship i don't know just not i don't know adam wingard is the director i'm not too sure about it i like uh i like the act alexander skarsgård I loved him in True Blood. Uh, he was actually pretty good in Tarzan. It's okay movie. It's fucking ridiculous. But I enjoyed seeing the trailers and going, oh, you know, I like that act. I'm going to, you know, somewhat enjoy it. And they give him an okay plot, but it's just part of that kind of like nonsense to me where I could have. Yeah, I know it's fucking giant monsters, all right? It just sounds ridiculous to me now. But when you watch the other movies, it's, it's like somewhat grounded in. You know, oh my god, what are we going to do? Okay, so we have an oxygen-depleting fucking missile and or weapons and... Um, think of the monsters, right? In the first one, we're just lucky he left after coming back because there's more titans and he has to be the king of the monsters. So, you know, keep the subplots out of these things. Keep them very small. Keep them reactionary to what Godzilla... What King Kong is doing. Let's see some fights from beginning to end. And they did better. They did it better. You're going to see things more in the light. You're going to see more of the fights. They just don't know how to tone down these plots they want to run in with the humans and people. It's just enough. I get it. That might be Hollywood's answer to Godzilla. Granted, this is like only the fourth or fifth film solely made in hollywood it devolved in mostly you know overseas japanese and i don't know i don't want to see this trend keep going but it is better it's a sign that they could be at least listening i don't know you know i'm okay with it being five years later and kong's bigger but Godzilla doesn't have the massive sizeness to me and they do a great city fight it's it's, I don't know, it's just when it comes together at the end, I'm like, oh, you know, you could this could be so much better. And I'll talk briefly about the original King Kong vs. Godzilla, what is it, 1963. Love it as a kid. Love it. Had so much fun. Watch it over and over. But it's ridiculousness. Drinking the punch, flying, in, it's just, it's ridiculous. But it's fun when you're younger and you're a kid and you catch the 30 fucking six Godzilla movies and you, you see there are a group of them that are a little more fun, campy. And I'll go for any type of style, really. But now that this is the fourth movie or third, it's like, all right, enough. You're going in a better direction, but it's not captivating. Look at the Universal Monsters. They tried to do Dracula Untold and the Frankenstein, the Mummy. It was disastrous. They sucked. They really weren't good. You're going to get that from this. Even if Ma Millie Bobby Brown is a great actress and I love Skarsgård, you got them doing stupid shit. It's interfering with my, you know, immersion into this world of titans and monsters 300 feet tall, however fucking tall they are. I just want to see more of that. You did it, but it just doesn't feel like it's good enough. If that's anything of a review, I don't know. But I, again, Godzilla vs. Kong, serviceable, fun movie. It falls apart at the ends with this silliness that doesn't captivate me. The the the, the plots are like, come on, what do you want her in the movie again? Get her a Scooby Goo gang and she'll solve crimes and figuring out why Godzilla is coming back. Um, why Kong is uh, needed to find Middle Earth or get there in his gravitation well. It's just like too much. You go, you go too much. Now, there were some Godzilla movies, but all of a sudden, 
bam, you've got aliens from another planet, you've got spaceships, you've got uh, horses aligned to fight them, and it gets pretty hokey and pretty crazy. But for some reason, they at least knew how to treat Godzilla, and I didn't do that much with Kong, but I'm talking about Godzilla, that they kept him and filmed him in a certain way that you were still captivated. Even if you've got this silly shit going on on the side. I just don't find them doing it here. And it's weird to say, right? Because I can go back and just 36 Godzilla movies. There will be some I want to fast forward through. There will be some that maybe I won't even watch. It's like some, like a boring one. Uh, Godzilla vs. Smog Monster, I think it is. Uh, it's like the first half hour is a dance contest. Or something crazy. And it just involved, you know, okay, you got the message. Now, the original Godzilla, I love watching Black and White, you know, Raymond Burr. It's just something special about those movies. And yeah, if you look at all 36 movies, you're going to laugh, you're going to shut them off fine. I happen to enjoy them. For the most part, I'll do the same with King Kong, although he's more that serious. I'm going to be on top of a building, get fatally killed, angle. And he's always, you know, being brought to New York. But he's never a titan size. And, you know, until the Godzilla, King Kong vs. Godzilla movie back in the day. I'm just happy I enjoy this and I can get through it. If I have to watch it with a friend, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get along and go for the ride without feeling like, out of, you know, upset or, you know, displaced. If you told me right now, yo, know, people are responding to your first Godzilla video... They want you to do an in-depth one. It would be like, oh, God, I got to go. Through. I got to do an in-depth uh, deep dive on the 2014 or whatever year it was, Godzilla. And I wouldn't mind a King of the Monsters or Kong Skull Island. Godzilla vs. Kong, enjoyable, fun, popcorn movie, fine. It, it nails that. It needs a better structure. Get some decent subplots that service the monsters better. It just doesn't work for me. This is the Hollywood angle on it, you know. But I can see improvement. I will give it that. I can see that they maybe listened or they they thought better on things. But who knows? Uh, you know, who knows what the next one will be. I gotta say, I really enjoyed the moments between the little kid and Kong. Like I said, there's a connection you can make with a gorilla or a monkey and that you know um can they understand you can they get to just what you're trying to say and give them sign language you can teach them over time and that was great because it was um relatable i guess and they did not try to do that with godzilla which was great although you had millie bobby brown wondering why is godzilla coming around fucking with everything if there's no reason to because they're hiding Kong or they're keeping it secret. This is, you know, they want to fight or whatever. Hey, look, good signs that they're on the right track. It's not maybe the perfect movie for me. I could see where people would love this movie. Fine. They do a good job of showing that aspect of Kong and how Godzilla, you wouldn't need it. He's just, look, I'm King of the Monsters. I got this radar sense that tells me when other Titans are around and I'm going to fuck you up. And I think at the last one, uh, he's there and they're all bowing. I think this one says he killed them all. Like eventually he went one by one and killed them all. I don't know if that's exactly something I heard of from another review or something. Because in general, what I'll do is I try to stay away, watch the movie maybe once, twice. Get a notepad, put my own thoughts on. Kind of see where I was going. And then I'll go to my, you know three to five favorite reviewers and things and or start looking at internet debates or gossip that type of thing uh i will recommend this movie i will say watch it it's fun titans and you got the two icons coming together for the first time in like uh, i don't know fucking 50 60 years that's awesome it's done with some legitimacy and some respect I I mean, I enjoy that. I'm happy that it's doing well in a pandemic, and the new thing might be to actually 
put movies in the theaters and let people sit far apart and also stream it at the same time. Maybe that's just the way things will go. Give Godzilla vs. Kong a try. I don't know. Leave some comments if you want, if I'm wrong. I just feel they're on the right track, but it's still not good enough. It's still not good movie material. Like, oh, I love, I, I could enjoy everything about it. I could follow the Hollow Earth, Hollow Earth plot line and not feel, you know, this is getting ridiculous. Or why the fuck is Millie Bobby Brown's character running around trying to get evidence? And these things don't seem like they don't work in the movie. Shorten it. Make it serviceable to the plot. Fine. But it's, it's okay. Um... I might change my mind on this movie because I'm going to watch it again with a friend. Uh, I'm going to want to see if, um, you know, sometimes your mood, you know, the things you're going through in life will impact your, you know, enjoyment of a movie. So we'll see on that case. But Godzilla vs. Kong, good effort. I'll give it that. Good fighting. Better than the other ones. Although I would say you want to debate me that Kong... Uh, Skull Island is not as good as Godzilla King and the Monsters. I might give you that. I might say, oh, but I enjoy Kong Skull Island better for one reason or another. But I could clearly say this one's probably best, the best of them. Give it a shot. I don't know. I hope everybody's doing well. Take care out there. My best to everybody. Be well.